What's up guys, Jeff from Worldwide Cycler here. Today we're gonna do a little shootout between three of the most popular dropper posts on the market. So we got the RockShock Reverb, the Fox Transfer Post, and the KS LEV. So all of these come in uh, you know, stealth models, meaning the, the cable comes in through the bottom, or models where the cable connects at the top. So uh, RockShock calls that the stealth edition. Um, I believe the Fox Transfer just calls it internal routing, and then the LEV calls it their Integra edition, where the cable comes in from the bottom. So um, I'm going to leave a link below in this video so you can click on our blog post about this. That's going to have all the little details and specs of all the different sizes and weights and travel ranges and all the, you know, potential pricing you're going to see on all different three of these posts, but we're going to get to the important thing here is what I would say to my best friend if he asked me, hey, I'm building up a bike, what dropper post should I put on it? So I'm a fan of all these brands. You know, I absolutely love KS. They're a great company. I love Fox, love RockShock. Um, awesome stuff. If I were to pick one, my buddy asked me, Fox Transfer, hands down. So one of the main reasons why I would pick the Fox Transfer so we sell tons and tons of dropper posts. Um, we have tons of them on our own bikes, our friends' bikes, our customers' bikes, you know, the, all the ones we ship out. Um, we move a lot of these things. It's a very popular product these days. And of all of those, basically every brand, every model has a percentage of warranty. So it's proven to be a very hard product to engineer in the industry. And uh, some of them have more warranties than other. Some of them have bad reputations because, you know, three years ago when they were introduced, they had more warranties and they're a lot more reliable now. So it's kind of all over the map. If you Google any dropper post and you look for dirt, you will find dirt. There is going to be pissed off people that had bad warranty experiences and, you know, multiple unreliable ones in a row on every single brand, every single model. They all have had issues. Um, what matters to me is which ones have the least issues and fox takes the crown on that one so when you're talking just percentage of warranties percentage of people that we sell posts to that call us back and say hey this thing's not working this thing's broken or hey this thing blew up after five rides etc um, fox has a tiny percentage of that they still have them it happens don't don't think these things are perfect by any means unfortunately they're not yet i hope they will be um, but fox has the smallest percentage of them they are you know, absolutely the most reliable, the biggest percentage of them go out of here and customers are stoked and they have them and they have no problems and they work great for ages and ages and ages. Um, KS, probably the second best as far as least warranties. RockShock, it's going to go in the third spot on this one. We have had some more issues with those. The newer ones are better, um, but, you know, they're a little bit more complicated to work on with a, it's got a hydraulic lever and cable actuation. So that's making it a lot harder to install, a lot harder for a home mechanic to install. And that can potentially lead to warranty issues if it's installed incorrectly. So the other ones are simpler to install. You need less tools, less knowledge, less time, and they're just less of a headache. Um, but if I was going to recommend one of these to my best friend, in all honesty, I would hands down go with the Fox Transfer. Another one that's not sitting here because it's not quite as popular as the Crank Brothers Highline. I happen to ride that on my bike right now. I love that thing. It works really well. It's proven to be incredibly reliable for me. We don't have as much knowledge about the you know percentage of warranty on those because we don't sell quite as many of them because Crank Brothers is just not as popular these days. And they're one of those brands kind of struggling with, you know, they were in the dropper post game really early. They had some issues with some of their early posts and they kind of got a bad reputation. Uh, their Highline post, in my eyes, is awesome. I wanted to try it. A lot of other people aren't willing to take the risk when they know the Fox Transfer is proven and amazing. So Fox Transfers are our all-time most popular post right now. Um, my second pick would be a Crank Brothers Highline, although it's not it's not in the realm of popular posts like these three are. But you know, my recommendation, Fox Transfer, second up, KSLEV, third would be the Reverb. Um, for the most, the three most popular ones, but I would slide in the Crank Brothers Highline, you know, right level with the Fox posts if, if it was as popular. So that's it for these posts. We're going to leave a link to the blog below. That's going to have all the specs and details and, you know, little weight weeny things and things you can look at if you want to, you know, crunch the numbers on them. But the most important thing to me is reliability and awesomeness and Fox takes the crown on that one. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you liked the video, um, please subscribe, hit that like button, the thumbs up button, share it. Uh, we love that and we really appreciate that and see you guys the next time.